Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create data groupings and reports to group selected fields by the unique values that they contain. You can then calculate the value of another field for each unique grouping created by the values within the grouped field. This is how you create summary totals by group within a report. For example, assume that you had created a sales report that displayed detailed data of product sales by employee. You could create a data grouping on the employee ID field to create a group for each unique value found within the employee ID field. When you create a data grouping, you can create a group header and a group footer as additional sections within the report. Data fields placed into a group header or a group footer will be displayed once for each unique group value found within the field. You could then add a calculated field for each grouping that would total the value of all the sales values within the amount field for each unique grouping found in the employee ID field and display the subtotals for each employee in the group footer. So as you can see, this can be an extremely useful feature. To create a grouping for your report, view the report in Report Design View. Next, click the Group and Sort button that appears in the Grouping and Totals button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Doing that will show the Group, Sort, and Total pane at the bottom of the Report Design View. In this section are two boxes add a group, and add a sort. To add a report grouping, click the Add a Group button, and then select the name of the field by which you wish to group the data from the pop-up menu that appears. That will add the primary grouping, of which you may have several, into the Group, Sort, and Total pane. To then view all of the available options that you have for the group, click the More button to expand the group options shown. You will click each drop-down from left to right and set the value for each until you have specified all of your group settings. You can click the next drop-down arrow after the field name to select the sorting method used to sort the values in the grouped field. Moving to the right, you can then select the next drop-down arrow to choose how you wish to create the groups within the selected field. Normally, you will group by the entire value of this field. This means that the values in the grouped field must match entirely to be included as part of the same group. However, you can also create groups based on field values that share the first few initial characters or values. For text fields, you can select either the by first character or by first two characters to create groups based on those criteria. If you want to create groupings based on more than two initial characters, select the custom option and then enter the number of initial characters by which you wish to create the grouped values within the grouped field. For date, time, and number fields, simply select a group option or enter a custom group value. Now starting in Access 2007, you can also create totals for the groups as you create the groupings. You can click the next drop-down to choose what totals to display for the groupings that are created. If you do not want to calculate any field values for each group, then leave the selection at the default value of With No Totals. If you want to add totals, then click the drop-down arrow and select the Field to Total from the Total On drop-down within the drop-down menu. Next, use the Type drop-down to select the function to perform on the field selected in the Total On drop-down. Below that, check any of the four checkboxes shown to enable or disable each setting. If you want a grand total for the field, then select the Show Grand Total checkbox. If you want to show each group's value as a percentage of the grand total, 
Then check the Show Group Subtotal as percent of Grand Total checkbox. To show the subtotals in the group header, check the Show Subtotal in Group Header checkbox. To show the subtotals for each group in the group footer, check the Show Subtotal in Group Footer checkbox. Note that you can also set many totals on several fields if needed by selecting another field from the total on dropdown and then repeating this process. Once you have set your totals, click the drop down arrow in the group again to set your totals in your report. To add a title to the groups, click the Click to Add hyperlink to open the Zoom dialog box where you can enter the title to apply to the group and then click the OK button. This adds the title as a label control into the header of the group. Next, you can click the drop down arrow to select with a header section or without a header section. If you added a group title, then you must have a group header section. You may only choose the without a header section option if you do not have any controls of any kind in the group header shown in design view. Choosing this option with controls in the section will delete the section and the related controls. Likewise, you can use the next drop down to choose with a footer section or without a footer section. Once again, you may only remove the group footer as long as you do not have any controls in that section. If you add totals to the group in the group footer, then you will not want to remove the group footer as that would delete the calculated fields that Access adds to that section when you request field totals. The last drop down arrow lets you choose how the data records shown within each group should appear when printed. You can select the default of Do Not Keep Group Together on One Page to ignore grouping and where the page breaks occur when you run out of printable area on a page. You can select the Keep Whole Group Together on One Page option to try to print all of the records in each group on one page. You can also select Keep Header and First Record Together on One Page to start printing the grouped data on a report page only if access can fit both the group header and at least one detail record on the same page. Note that you can then create additional groupings if desired by clicking the next Add a Group button that is below your current group and then repeating this entire process. Note, however, that the secondary groups should logically be secondary groupings within the larger primary group that is defined. Now if using multiple groups, note that you can also change the order in which the grouping is applied by selecting the group whose order you want to change and then clicking the small move up and move down arrow buttons that appear at the right end of the grouping. To delete a group that you have created, you can click the Delete button or the X that appears at the right end of the group listing. Note that if you have controls in the group header or group footer, these controls will be deleted along with the header or footer. Access will warn you if this is the case before allowing you to delete the group. Now also note that this is the same process used for sorting your report data. As you have just seen, when creating a group you can choose how to sort the values within the group. However, for some detailed reports, you may not need any report groupings. In either case, you can still apply sorting to the report using any available field. You simply start the process of adding a sorting order by clicking the Add a Sort button that appears in the Group Sort and Total pane. You can set any additional options for a sorted field that you can with a grouped field. 
However, you will most commonly only need to set the two options that are initially shown when the sort is created. That will allow you to select the field by which to sort and the method used to sort the field's values. As with groups, you can reorder the sorting that is applied or delete the sorting applied by using the Move Up, Move Down, and Delete buttons that are available at the right end of the sort. When you are finished creating groups and sorting, you can click the X button in the upper right corner of the Group Sort and Total pane to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.